Water is sprayed at an angle of 90 degrees from the slope at 20 miles per hour. Determine the range. So first we need to break down the initial velocity into components. So it shoots off at 20 miles per hour and if we look at here, this is a 3-4-5 triangle. So this would be a 3-4-5 triangle. And so 20 um, divided by 5 is 4 times 3 is 12 and 16. So the initial velocity is 12 in the x and 16 in the y. So writing out the equation for acceleration, we got y equals y naught plus v naught y t plus one half a t squared. So <coughs> we'll call y naught zero and v naught is sixteen v naught y and t minus oh, that should be minus one half t squared one half uh, 9.81 t squared. So then for the x direction, so in the x direction uh, there is no acceleration. So we have x naught plus v naught x t. And so x is equal to x naught is, we'll call this 0, 0, right? So that's 0 plus or minus because it's going that way, minus 12t. Now if we look at the slope, we can write the equation of that line, y equals 3 fourths x. So we want to know when this jet will meet this line. So when will the y's be equal and when will the x's be equal? So taking this, we'll substitute it into here for y, and we get 3 fourths x equals 16t minus 1 half times 9.81 is 4.9t squared. So then we have this equation. But x, we'd rather have uh, t. So here's x, so let's put x into there, and then we'll have an equation based on t. So now we have 3 fourths of negative 12t equals 16t minus 4.9t squared. And solving that, um, we get t equals 5.1. <coughs> so y equals, going back here, y equals 16 times 5.1 minus 4.9 uh, times 5.1 squared. So y equals negative 45.8. And putting it in for x, then x equals negative 12 times 5.1. So that equals 61.2. And then to find the range, all we need to do is the Pythagorean theorem. So the range equals the square root of 45.8 squared negative, plus 61.2 squared. And the range is equal to 76.5